Hello, I'm the editor, and in this video we are going to be improving on a terrain that we have made with Gaia by adding points of interest, so little farms, buildings, uh, little clusters of rock, and we're not going to be manually placing this. Gaia is going to be doing this for us, and we're just going to say, do this kind of thing. So, let's get on with the video. So, we created these last time, if you recall, we pressed a button that said create spawners, and within here, there is this create uh, a rather coverage game spawner and this defines a whole bunch of interesting points of interests uh, most of them come through in 3d forge exteriors kit and you can configure those inside of this resource here so we can open it out there's no texture prototypes in this one we're actually looking at game game object prototypes and you can see in here we have for example a small farm and it's saying okay there are 30 things within this small farm that we're going to we're going to spawn when we spawn this particular farm we're going to for example spawn a small wood which comes from a prefab and that prefab is here so it's a pile of wood you see and then if i can find my way back unity needs a back button does it not have a back button that's a shame. Then we need to find our way back to the spawn definition resource file, which is here. And then within that, it says I only ever create one of this instance and create it at this specific place with this rotation, etc. And you can set all sorts of different parameters for the spawning of these things. So you can make them spawn randomly within the space that you have or you can make them respawn in exactly the same place as was the case we want uh, of the one we just looked at so if we go to the game object spawner and let's just zoom out so you can see what is happening this will have criteria that will only spawn these objects in appropriate places on our terrain so click spawn and you'll see in a moment that they start to appear in the scene view. There you go, some over there. None will appear in this middle bit because that's underwater. So they'll appear on the edge occasionally, or some of them will. But this middle bit here, there's none there because that's going to be underwater. And these are all POIs, points of interest, that are going to appear above the water. So let's fly down into this one here. And we can see this is a cluster of rocks okay if we highlight the spawner over here we can actually get to them a bit more quickly spawned game objects let's have a look at this small farm it's interesting why are we not seeing it oh none of them have spawned that's why this is potential spawn farm but we have some items spawned here so here is a, a small farm too and you can see that it has a cart and a house and so on and you can see that it's conformed nicely to the terrain if we go to maybe a small farm four let's look at this medium farm uh sorry small farm four let's have a look at one of those there we go there is a different kind of small farm now how some of the grass has spawned around the outside um, we're going to come back to spawning grass later on so what we have here now is some interesting points of interest that we can go and explore inside of our terrain a number of different types of point of interest so i believe there's a copse yeah none of them have been spawned in this instance though so i can't show you a copse so we might be dissatisfied with the fact that no cops has arrived so we could drill in and see what the spawn criteria are and make sure we have a space for them to spawn what Gaia doesn't provide is a way to specifically say let's have a cops of trees just here we're going to look at another tool in a later video called Jenna which allows you to do that kind of fine tuning of your terrain but this approach is really good for just a quick placement of points of interest in our terrain. Hello again, that's the end of this video, but in the next video we are going to be covering consistent vegetation spawning, so you don't have to rely on points of interests that contain vegetation spawning. 
so it'll like scatter trees and other vegetation to make it look more alive. That's it for this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one.